Tim, we need to have a talk. Now, I know in the beginning of our relationship, things were really good. That little film you did, Vincent, I loved it. Pee-wee's Big Adventure, oh, oh, you had me. I know that there were some things that it took me a little time to warm up to, like Beetlejuice. But you won me over. I still prefer your Batman to Nolan's. He cannot hold a candle to your visual style. So what the fuck happened? Now, I'm not saying that Dark Shadows is bad per se, but Tim, your movie ends with the song Let's Go All The Way. So why didn't you go all the way? There were a lot of things that you did that I liked. Eva Green was very hot. I loved every scene she was making out with Johnny. I know you have a man crush on Johnny. I understand. Believe me. I was there since Edward Scissorhands. Turn that boy around. Eva's presence was uh, noticeable. Even, even Helena. Helena was fine, although I do question your desire to put her in every movie. It felt like you shoehorned her in. Why? Why wasn't she the star again? Did you think we would get tired of that? Maybe. But you've wasted her. She plays this character, this, this psychiatrist, and you don't really use her. Except for a to have that stinger at the end. Why? Is she getting old? Maybe. Maybe. And some of those twists that you brought at the very end, I, 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 I was okay with them. I, I, li I liked them. I liked the fact that the daughter turned out to be a werewolf. I, I thought that was fine. That was wonderful. Wonderfully campy. I loved the visuals. I loved the fact that you you combined a gothic aesthetic with 70s kitsch. That, that, oh, Tim. Tim, that was beautiful. But you remember what I said when uh, I got back from Sleepy Hollow? And I said, Timothy, I think you ought to write the movie a bit more. You need to write the movie a bit more. I mean, everything made sense. Although, I have to ask, do the vampires burn in the sun or not? Now, I know you're using digital technology and that requires a lot of light. So use a different camera. I mean, look, look at what the Hammer Boys did. Those nice Hammer Boys down the street. You know, you used to play with them all the time. They, they, they just made that movie, you know, Woman in Black. That, that was beautifully dark, and, and that was shot digitally. Did, did you have an argument with them? Did you, did you not want to, to talk to them anymore? Did, did they say that overlighting a vampire is a really stupid idea? And, and, and you said, no, 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 it's, it's a fabulous idea. Because you'd have been wrong, Tim. You would have been wrong. Ah. Maybe it's not you. Maybe it's me. Maybe, maybe it is me. Maybe, maybe I'm getting too old. You know, like Helena. But I, I can't help but think that you just, you're afraid. You, what happened to the, the brash, young, weird director that I, I knew and loved? I loved you. Now, I don't know where you're at. I, I still see him. I still see every once in a while. I could see him peeking out from behind the curtain and going, Yoo-hoo. Just, just 
just a little. And those are the moments I loved. I loved, I, I loved how everything looked. You, you, your, your hand was all over it, and, and, and I loved it. I loved it. You know, I, I got the right kind of awkward sexuality from the teenage daughter. I, 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 I know you like to do that, and, and, and it worked very well. I got the right kind of presence from Michelle Pfeiffer. Oh, always, always, always. But, but that story, Timothy. Now, I know that when we had that argument about Sleepy Hollow, I said, Timothy, this doesn't make any sense. You didn't think enough about it. You gave me no explanation for how this happened. But, but that movie was trying to be scary. That's why you needed to know what to explain and what not. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't let it go. Timothy, I don't need to have everything spelled out. You've gone too far. You explained everything. Well, except for why that one ghost continuously falls off the chandelier. That was dumb. I mean... I got the symbolism. I, I got what had happened to her, but you did it twice. So I felt like maybe that ghost was going to come in at the end. And, and, and then when the boy goes like, oh, my mother is over there. I was like, oh, here we go. The mother drops the chandelier. I get it. How wonderful. And then, and then it wasn't the, the mother. It was a different ghost entirely that we hadn't seen before. And I did know who she was. I could tell you told me. But why, Tim? Why? Why did you introduce a character in the last act? The, the last scene! You introduced a character in the last scene. Don't, Timothy, don't, don't, do, don't do this to us. Don't. Don't. Please. Please. And, and, and why? Why, in that crowd scene, do you do what all of those awful directors do? You know... You've got that crowd scene, and something has happened, and then someone has to say, as a bur building is burning, oh my god, that building is burning! We can see it, Tim. You don't have to tell us. Oh, hey, he's over there. Yes, the camera is right on him. We know. Uh, pe people do not randomly shout out what is happening in front of them. They, they don't, Tim. They, 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 they don't. Like, not, not even weird people do that. They, they, no. No, Tim, stop. Don't, don't do that. You're... <sighs> I feel like at some point, some very well-meaning person, maybe it was me, said, Tim, I think you need to let the audience in on what's happening. But they meant visually. They, they meant just, just let us know. We, we can fill in the blanks. We, we, we didn't need to know that the witch had turned the daughter into a werewolf. We, we did not especially need to be told the details because you, you didn't show them. We could figure it out. She's a witch. She's cursed the family. Daughter's a werewolf now. That, that's fine. And, and, and I have to admit, I, I like the fact that you brought in so many of those little plot threads from the original show. I mean, that was, that was kind of nice. I, you know, our grandmothers would have loved that. I think my grandmother even would have liked the, uh, like the love scenes. She was weird like that. And yes, I still can't get over... Uh, Ava's breasts. She has a beautiful bosom. Not even like this. The way Johnny would look into the camera. Very nice. And yet... And yet, somehow, in the middle of all of this, you... You just, you just stopped. 
you just stopped. You just stopped, and I'm sitting there wondering, is it me? Is, is it me? It, am I having a problem? No, Tim, you have the problem. You're, you're not the attentive director you used to be. I... You, so many things you got right. So many things. And yet, when it came to the moment of truth, the moment where I am, I am ready, I am ready to ejaculate with joy, you, you, you slow down and you stop. What I'm saying is you're not getting me off anymore, Tim. And you need to start doing that again. You really need to start letting the audience get off again. I... I, I don't understand how you can correctly put all of the pieces together and still never quite build everything to that climax. Tim, I, and what was with that McDonald's product placement? Did you really need that? Did you? Did you? Because it was, wow, it was there. McDonald's. Twice you brought it up. Twice. You, you, we have that big shot of the McDonald's M. And. And I thought, no, no, this, you wouldn't do, what, but, why would you do that? And then why would you call back to it? You, you called back to it. You called back to the product placement, Tim. You called back to the product placement. That is unforgivable. I, Oh, Tim. Oh, Tim, we used to have such a great thing together. What? What happened? What happened? I... I just... I... Uh, I want to be angry. But... But I, I'm just disappointed. I'm, I'm disappointed, Tim. We... We had such a... Oh, God. God. Just, the sets, gorgeous, costuming, gorgeous, visuals, gorgeous, everything, everything. I even got the, I even got into the fact that it was the 70s, despite the fact that the original show was in the 60s. I can forgive that. I can forgive that. You had a disco ball. You know how I feel about disco balls. You even had testicle humor. That was fine. That was fine. You had your little clockworks in the movie that are so charming that I that I thought was great. I I I I probably would have taken a date to see this movie. I don't think she would have had sex with me after it though. Despite the fact that the sex scenes in this movie were they were kind of hot. All the girls had that freak show sexiness to them. But... Tim... I am disappointed. I... The Count is disappointed. I just... Oh! God! Like... Oof! Why did you introduce a new ghost in the last scene? The last scene? Wh why? Like, was, was that supposed to be a twist? What? I, oh, God. I, I don't know you anymore. 
What the hell? You... You... Oh... Oh, Tim. I... I love the pretty pictures. I really do. I, I really did. I really did. I loved the chandelier. I loved everyone's outfits. I loved everyone's makeup, even that really ridiculous makeup you had on Johnny Depp that really felt weird. I got the fact that you even wanted to do a vampire movie because of Twilight. I understand. But you have that conversation about true love at the end of the movie. In, in dialogue. Now, now I know it's based on a soap opera, but this is a movie, Tim. It's a movie. I... You have that big thing about how the big villain, the villain can't love Barnabas because she has no heart. Okay. But then she reaches in and pulls her heart out. Tim, do, do you even get your own metaphors? It, it crumbles, it breaks apart as if it's, it's made of glass. That, that doesn't say that she has no heart that says that she's fragile tim did did they do something unspeakable to you after mars attacks now i know you did that one all for yourself but for the love of crap tim you gotta you wind us you dined us. You took us to the penthouse suite. And the minute we're stuck in, you lie there like a dead fish. Dead fish. Like the dead fish that are part of the story of the movie. You get what I did there? Yeah, because apparently the big friction between the two major houses of the town is a fishing cannery. Well, that makes sense, but what is it doing in this movie? I, I get that they have a connection to the ocean and that the cliffs and the tide have a lot to do with the story. But that's not what I see. I see dead fish, Tim. Lying there like a dead fish. And everyone's trying so hard. They're trying so hard. They're doing such a good job, too, Tim. You... God. I... Yeah. Puh. I had to murder someone on the way home. I was so frustrated. I, I just... I bit into her neck, and it sprayed over me like a glorious, warm... jugular. And just the way it... It was wonderful. It was wonderful. Because I left that theater so frustrated. I had to have something. 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 Oh, they just found her. Well, great. Now I gotta go deal with that. Puh. Tim. You're on fucking notice. Unless you fucking clean up your act. And start learning to get us off. I, I don't think we can have this relationship anymore. I really don't. I gotta go clean up that girl. Gonna have to dig a deeper grave this time.